Well, good morning. Welcome back. It's 648 and 70 degrees here in downtown Amarillo. Joined by Taylor and Brian from the Geek Squad out mm -hmm. at uh, Best Buy here in Amarillo. And guys, today we're going to be talking about tablets. Now, yeah. i got to admit, mm -hmm. I've jumped into the tablet world this weekend. I got, got a new tablet. It's supposed to be here next Monday. You're going to have it today. Right on. I did try Best Buy, by the way. <laughs> we appreciate well, it. it. I mm -hmm. did. Uh, but let's, let's talk about these things because it seems like the migration is starting to occur, really has occurred, from laptops mm -hmm. to tablets. And it's, a lot of the PC yeah. sales have gone down as a result. A little bit, yeah. Um, tablets are starting to take over the mm -hmm. same uh, portion of the market that the laptops have occupied for a while. Mm -hmm. um, for those people who don't need as much processing power or storage or maybe even flexibility. Or portability. Portability, for yeah. sure. Uh, they favor portability with tablets. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's let's start off by talking about uh, some of the things that you can do with tablets. And I guess the first thing, Brian, is be social with them. Social media. <laughs> yeah. The the highest used apps out there are Facebook and Twitter. Okay. If that says anything. Yep. Um, you can om you almost have the full functionality of Facebook when you do this. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You can literally set up your profile, get things going talk back and forth, toss a tweet out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which I can do you, now, by the way. You, you, you'll yeah. learn. I can toss, I can <laughs> toss a tweet. Twitter. But I say yours is a couple of days old. I saw five or six tweets on there. Uh, <laughs> I've been trying to do it. I You've been busy, do. yeah. Uh, I've been trying to tweet. Meredith helped me a little bit yesterday. Mm -hmm. Of course, I committed the Twitter foul. And yeah. Got penalized 15 yards. Well, what are some <laughs> of the other things, Taylor, that, that tablets can bring to the table that maybe PCs well, can't? Um, given their, their greater portability, they're also very useful for bringing media to mm -hmm. yourself. You can download music via iTunes or Google Play mm -hmm. and then you have all kinds of uh, video purchasing and streaming services available as well. Uh, the same things you would use on a computer like Netflix or Hulu are available on tablets. I notice some of the tablets processing speed is getting up there. I mean it's getting pretty high. The first tablets came out it was mm -hmm. really kind of like what is this like a PM3? It, was, <laughs> it used to be questionable but now as long as your internet's fast enough there shouldn't be any sort of a bottleneck. It can run to video streaming very well now. And I think that was really kind of the big thing that some of the newer tablets especially, those things yes. are fast yes. and really, really doing a great job. Okay, Brian, what's some of the other things that tablets um, do? In addition to all of this, books. Yeah. We can take along all our books that we want to read. Um, for your smart tablet, there, there's this is just the way to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can purchase everything right there. You can put it on your tablet. You can take it off your tablet. And, and, and so I know Apple, certainly you can do this. You can have it on your phone. You can mm -hmm. have it on your iPad. I have it on your iMac, the, right, the usability exactly. of, okay, I'm buying this, I don't have to buy it for three devices, I can buy it and share it with all three, right. which well, is really nice. Uh, like for your college students, uh, a yeah. lot of those books are online now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can take all those big, hunky $400 college books and shrink your bill a little bit. They're yeah, still expensive, but uh, you're not paying lighter. for materials now. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, and uh, what's uh, some of the other things that a tablet can do? Well, uh, you can also use them to basically organize your whole life. Yeah. Um, the, just the built-in programs they have include calendars with alarms, all kinds of notifications. Mm -hmm. um, on my smartphone, you can set up as many alarms as you want. If I wanted 30 alarms every week <laughs> for different things, I could do it. Yeah. And uh, it would basically keep me in line all the time. It's really interesting when you mentioned the organization there. You know, we used to have a separate you know, a planner mm -hmm. that was this thick and then you had this and that and now it's all in one small, very thin little device that you can carry around with. Have you. to get used to typing on that touch screen, but yeah. if you get your tablet shorthand down, it's very convenient. Yeah. <laughs> and with the multitude of calendars, my wife has my life completely organized. Uh, mm -hmm. She's a man. I, know, yeah. I, I follow that category <laughs> as well. Yeah. All right. Well, just sir, I guess that was uh, all as far as the tablet things. Again, mm -hmm. if you want to see these guys out at Best Buy, please do out, do out there and see them. As for Taylor and Brian, I've done that a couple of times. Y'all yeah. uh, been yeah. busy, and I missed y'all. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, but are. I'm busy a lot. Back yeah, then. I bet you are. <laughs> I bet you are. Well, thanks again for uh, joining us this morning. We'll see him here every Tuesday morning here about 6:45. Meredith got the answer to the question for the day, correct? 